Wake up, night! Broadcasting live from Academy Park World News Headquarters, it is time for Nightline News, the most trusted and revered name in third block news. Good morning, AP. I am Amadou. Today is Friday, March 2nd, and it is day one. Today will be high of 41 degrees with low of 35, and rain and winter expected. Now, Zane, what are some of the important things happening at AP that students should know about? Why? Thank you for asking, Amadou. Juniors and seniors, if you're interested in the Religious Liberty Essay Scholarship Contest, please see your counselor for details. Deadline is March 9th. Please follow the guidance department on social media for updates and scholarship information. Facebook, Academy Park Guidance Office, Instagram, APHS underscore guidance underscore office. Juniors and seniors, there will be a field trip to Universal Technical Institute on Tuesday, March 13th. Students who are interested in visiting the campus must sign up in Mr. Thomas's room by Tuesday, March 6th. A permission slip must be signed by teachers and parents slash guardian in order to attend. Please see Mrs. Parenti or Mr. Thomas for more information. Frosh. The classes of 2020 and 2021 are hosting the Springtime in Paris Frosh Dance on Friday, March 16th, from 7 o'clock p.m. to 10 o'clock p.m. Tickets are $15 and can be purchased in rooms 245, 241, 150, and 355. If you are in 9th grade and have any questions, see Mrs. Farr or Mrs. Sacrenti. If you are in 10th grade and have any questions, see Ms. Tallarico or Ms. Mullen. Scholarship Information Condell Scholarship any senior who lives in Collindale and would like to apply for the Collindale Scholarship, please get an application from the Guidance Office. Ann Klingerburn Scholarship. Students interested in the Ann Klingerburn Scholarship must have a 2.5 cumulative GPA. See your counselor today for additional information. Medical Careers. Any junior who's interested in medical careers next year, please see Mrs. Kaiser and Guidance ASAP. Seniors, get your $125 senior dues in as soon as possible to Mrs. Kluza. You can pay some now and some later. See Mrs. Kluza with any questions. Students, remember, tutoring is still available every Tuesday from 2.15 to 3.15 in room 2.20. And now here's Imani with your sports and club announcements. Thank you, Zane. Lacrosse starts Monday. There will be a mandatory meeting in Mrs. Ryder's room 2.20 at 4 o'clock on Monday before practice. Tennis. There will be no boys tennis workouts today. Regular official season practice begins Monday on the courts right after school. Be prompt. Baseball season is almost upon us. Tryouts are this Monday, March 5th, and Tuesday, March 6th. Time to be determined later. Remember, you must have a physical to try out. There will be practice today from 3 to 5. Be ready for outside on the black tops. No spikes yet. Or the inside gym. And now, Nala News presents Amadou and Zane with your Black History Month trivia question. Thank you, Imani. Today is the last day of Black History Month Trivia. Good luck to those who participated. Next week, we will bring our trivia competition for Women's History Month. Yesterday's Black History Month Trivia question was, the movie Black Panther was directed by Ryan Coogler. What was the title of Coogler's first film? The answer is Fruitvale Station. Fruitvale Station is a 2013 American biographical drama based on events leading to the death of Oscar Grant, a young African-American who was killed in 2009 by a police officer at the Fruitvale District Station of the Bay Area Rapid Transit System in Oakland. The film stars Michael B. Jordan as Oscar Grant and Forrest Whitaker is one of the film producers. Kevin Durant and Chad Michael Murray played a part of BART police officers involved in Grant's death. The name of those officers were changed for the film. Fruitvale Station debuted at 2013 Sundance Film Festival, where it won the Grand Jury Prize and the Audience Award for U.S. Dramatic Film. It was also screened at the 2013 Cannes Film Festival, where it won the award for Best First Film. The film was released in theaters on July 12, 2013, to widespread critical acclaim. Today's Black History Month trivia question is, in what year did the Supreme Court rule in case of Brown v. Board of Education that school segregation is unconstitutional? Again, in what year did the Supreme Court rule in the case of Brown v. Board of Education that school segregation is unconstitutional? Teachers, email all answers to Ms. Artmont. From everyone here at Nightline News, I'm Zane. I'm Imani. 
And I'm Amadou. Have a great day. Keep those electronics out of sight and don't still these visible. And remember, Martin Luther King once said, we must learn to live together as brothers or praise together as fools. And Coretta Scott King once said, women, if the soul of the nation is to be saved, I believe that you must become its soul. Happy, Happy Black, Black History, History Month, AP. AP.